that the new guys don't already know. Really, the reason why I came back to came to Tennessee from Arizona because I knew after long I had lost there and all the things that happened that she'd be the one. Me up. And, uh, show me that there are still things I could do. And uh, just I can't rem I remember the day she was born. I remember sitting out in the, somewhere in the waiting room or something. And uh, I thought maybe I was going to have a boy. So you wouldn't be a football player. And the doctor, the nurse came out and said it was just a fat cheerleader. Because <laughs> she was kind of heavy, but uh, she didn't stay that way long. But she, she was the greatest daughter. I got two of the greatest daughters. But. I remember both of them growing up doing some really stupid stuff. <laughs> but they turned out to be absolutely wonderful people. And that one. She texted me and um, and she said she had to talk to me and she was going to go out to Arizona and um, she had a ticket she was going to fly out there and take care of some things and and, um, and she was um, made dinner for me. I didn't want to wash the pot. <laughs> I still got a cigarette sitting on my night table. She couldn't smoke in my room, and I know that. She went to turn the air conditioner on because she's always hot. And uh, she put the cigarette down, still there. Half of Half, half on one, <laughs> not the whole thing, but anyway. Um, and her last text to me was, <laughs> she was going to go to Arizona to get her shift together. <laughs> <laughs> and um, because she had some things that she had to work on, she had to work out. So we had a big long talk Tuesday night. She was here. For a long time, and um, but she didn't know that her shift was over. <laughs> it's, it was her shift was coming to a close. <laughs> and now we've got to take up the shift. <laughs> but I don't mean the shit. I mean the shit. <laughs> Shit, but I'm in shit. You're going to be so happy. I got mom because she right Because we've got to be there for these little ones because yes. they're going to miss Wawa so much. They love Wawa so much. <laughs> Her life was her children and her grandchildren, and she kind of felt like that she had made so many mistakes with her children. 
No, she tried. I mean, she really did, but she was so cotton big and young, she didn't know what she was doing half the time. Um, and she made choices. But with her grandchildren, she felt like they were, they just loved her so much, and she loved them so much. And she wanted to be there for them. And we talked about that Tuesday night because she had held this house for such a long time. And she almost died twice in the hospital in the last three years. And, um, and I said, you, you have to be here. You have to be here. You're Wawa. You have to be here. But then that was it. That was the last time I saw her alive. But I will see her again because I know in my heart that she knew the Lord. And I believe it's real. It's not a bunch of baloney. It's real. It is. And I will see her again, and she's not suffering right now. She's where she belongs, yeah. and I'm sorry that her shift is over. I wish her shift was a lot longer. There was another 40 years, yeah. and it's sad that she went at 45. Amen. And I, I would have hugged her more. I would have kissed her more. I would have, <laughs> you know, Tuesday night. <laughs> but you never know when your shift is over. <laughs> You never know. <laughs> I'm going to be different. I'm going to be different. <laughs> Let people know that I care about them. <laughs> because she, she didn't hesitate to let people know that she cared about them. <laughs> so, my sweet baby girl, she's not in this box. She would have been happy that it's so pretty. her big frame <laughs> fit in here. Because <laughs> <laughs> the size of the box doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> you know, her sense of humor, she was, was a wonderful person. I used to always say, and I finally told her this because I was afraid it hurt her feelings. I said, Chris was my pride and you are my joy. Because she was always, I mean, she got depressed and stuff too, like normal people do, but she loved to laugh and she loved to be joyous. And I just, I'm so sorry. I know that I will see her again. It is not just this earth. There is more, and God is real, and he is comforting me, and I'm going to declare it, and I don't care what anybody else thinks. I don't care. So there. You know, and you could say there's no God, and this is it, but that's not true. It's not true. So, Renee, I love you. And uh, it's just, just I'll see you tomorrow. See you later, yeah. alligator. Yeah. After a lot of crocodile. <laughs> okay, everybody, I have a we have a book up here for signing. Just so you guys know. Okay. I just wanted to say something. Okay, please. Yes. Please.